Hi YouTube, this is Mike Shilly with another repair video. This time I took apart my UPS uninterruptible power supply, the Triplite Smart 1500 LCDT, and replaced the battery. So with this tutorial, you can do the same thing at home. Problem was that uh, when I plugged the unit in, it came up fine and indicated a good battery, but as soon as I unplugged it, it just turned itself off and didn't do anything that a UPS is supposed to do, which is to keep the power on when you pull the plug. So since the unit is about five years old and according to the manufacturer spec, those internal batteries that power the unit when the power is off last about five years, I figured the batteries must be bad and set up to replace them by a new set that I had ordered on Amazon. To get to those internal batteries, you need to open up the unit by removing the Phillips screw that is located at the bottom of the front panel. Angle off the bezel here, and with a little bit of wiggling, you're going to get the display off, but while keeping those internal cables that drive the display in place. You can't remove those. Now slide off this metal bracket that keeps the two batteries in place and pull on a piece of duct tape that uh, is attached to one of the batteries in order to slide them out in one piece. Let's take some finger strength and we'll squeak a little bit and also note that the cables attached to the batteries might come off as the red cable you can see here you can only get the batteries about halfway out before the terminal cables will prevent further movement and you need to get the cables off the terminals to continue sliding the batteries out. As you can see the red cable on top already came off when I pulled on the battery. The lower part, the black or minus cable, needed to be wiggled off the terminal. You can use your hands if you're strong, maybe even a pair of pliers if you want to, but be careful not to damage the cables that way. Only pull on the metal part, never on the insulation. If you're curious, you can now take a peek inside and see the transformer and other electric components on the other side of the UPS. And while it's safe to operate with the batteries and their 12 volt voltage, do not, under any circumstances, touch anything on that other side, even when the unit is unplugged, which of course you have, and uh, the batteries are removed. There might be some capacitor still carrying main voltage, so be very careful there. Back to the batteries we wanted to replace. For the Smart 1500 LCD T by Triplite, it's two 12 volt batteries, and they're each about six inches long, about a little less than four inches high, and the depth is between two and a half and three inches. It's a really odd measurement, but uh, make sure you get the right ones. There is bigger ones that won't fit this particular model. We stack them on top of each other, and in order to keep them in place, I used some molding tape, double-sided, and applied that to one battery and put the other one on top make sure they fit exactly because the available space in the case is quite tight and they need to be lined up exactly to slide in without getting caught regarding the brand npp i was told is a good brand they're about 20 bucks a piece so the whole set is 40 dollars that's uh quite a lot of money and you can get a cheaper brand for about half the price but I figured I didn't want to skimp and wanted to last them for another five years. Now before you go ahead and slide them in, remove the patch cable of the previous pair and attach it to uh, the inner terminals of the two batteries there. The one is minus and one is plus because the two batteries are in series, which means 12 volts add up to a total of 24 and I measured that with my multimeter and it's about right. And just like the previous pair had a piece of duct tape 
attached to them to make it easier to slide them out of the case. I'm attaching a halfway folded duct tape to the pair to the bottom side and the battery combo is now ready to slide into the case. Get the bezel out of the way again without removing the cables attached to it and carefully slide that really heavy combo in there and when you're about halfway in you can attach the terminals again so the upper terminal is red which you attach the red cable to and the lower terminal is black and you attach the black cable of the case to it. By the way if you look closely when I attach the black cable there's a small spark that startled me at first but it's not uh, dangerous at all because it's a 12 volt battery and all that's flowing is the current between the terminal and the cable and probably a capacitor on the other side and it won't flow through your body because of the low voltage. Then move the double pack all the way in and it might require some wiggling until it snaps all the way and when you've done that you can reattach that metal blade that keeps the batteries in place and it will only go in if they're in all the way. Almost done. Just reattach the bezel with the display and for that you attach it at the top first, angle it a little bit and then press the bottom down. Then put that Phillips screw back in place and we are done. Now just for the fun of it and there's absolutely no requirement for you to do that I wanted to measure how bad these old batteries actually were. So I measured their voltage and one showed 11.6 volts and the other one 12.99 which is more like it. The other one seems to be in a pretty bad shape but of course you can only measure the capacity of a battery by putting load on it but of course you can't just short a battery like that because the amperage flowing is pretty high and the battery might not take that well so I picked a resistor 100 ohms and uh, on a voltage of 12 volts that should result in a current of about a hundred milliamps which is about what these uh, small resistors that I have in this set can take for a fraction of a second also until they heat up like crazy. Okay quick check if I pick the right resistor with the multimeter I can see that it has about a hundred and twenty two ohms which is exactly what I wanted so if I put that across the terminals of one battery with the multimeter in series with the resistor and switch the multimeter into amperage mode I put it to 10 amps just to be safe I can see that the reading is about 80 milliamps for the bad battery and about 100 milliamps for the better battery so there's definitely something off with the first battery not exactly sure if we could have reanimated it or not but uh, since it's at the end of its calculated lifespan anyway I thought it was safer to replace it and recycle the old ones now for a quick test uh, let's plug in the UPS it comes on it says online and as soon as I unplug it it turns on a fan and then runs on battery power indicating that it has 178 minutes of power left to go looks pretty good and I ran other tests later on to verify that it actually is correct and it runs about three hours before it gives out and there you have it if you liked the video press the like button and subscribe if you want to follow along with the upcoming videos that I might be producing see ya